So before I start making the cover, I am going to um, add some glue and fabric and uh, to the spine to reinforce it. And then um, I'm going to let it dry um, for a while before I put my cover um, together with the uh, um, signature. So first I need to glue these ends hide these two ends I'm going to glue both ends to the spine I'm going to cut a piece of uh, pretty thin fabric whatever fabric you can find and this uh, I believe is an old um, bed sheet cover so I'm going to cut a piece of this fabric and add it to the spine to reinforce it so the length is approximately approximately um, eight uh, a little over eight inches just a little shorter than the spine than the height of the spine than the height of the journal actually I'm not going to use this part because it's too thick we don't want anything bulky and thick. So I'm going to add glue to the spine and cover it with the fabric like this to uh, reinforce it. For the glue, I'm going to use a Beacon 3-in-1. This glue is waterproof and it dries pretty fast so i'm gonna start from the stitch stitches and then go all the way through through the spine Make sure each sign each signature have some glue on. paper to protect my desktop then I'm going to apply the fabric to the spine Then I'm going to attach the fabric to the cover uh, to the first and the last page with the glue, same glue.
in the excess fabric you can always cut it off later on make sure to peel off the uh, paper because you don't want to glue the paper on And I'm gonna use some clamps to hold this fabric and glue in place. I want to hold it as close as to the, um, to the edge as possible. So I'm going to set this aside, Let wait for it to dry before I apply the um, covers. Now I'm going to take my time to make my cover. For the covers, I'm going to use cardstock from this box. This is a uh, beef patty, spicy beef patties box. We bought this um, from Costco. The measurement of the front and back cover will be the same size as this, which is a, um, five and a half by eight and a half. It's just a slightly larger than this size. So I'm gonna use my heavy duty cutter to cut this. Cut this side straight first. Then cut five and a half inch off. This is the width of the cover. And then the height of the cover is eight and a half inch. One piece, I'm going to cut the second piece. The width of it, five and a half inches. Eight and a half inches. This is my front and the back cover. For the spine, it's going to be eight three eighth inches. So I'm going to cut the height first. eight and a half inches high and the width end is three eighths so this is half three eighths is right here will be the spine this is how I'm going to put these three pieces together 
I'm going to use this paper tape. Tape these three pieces in place. And then in between the spine and the front cover or back cover, leave a gap approximately uh, one eighth of inches. To make sure to line up. Make sure it lines up. I'm going to use this piece of cardboard like this. Then fold the tape back, hold them in place. I'm gonna add another piece of tape to reinforce it. around the corners. And the next, I'm going to um, place some felt on the front uh, cover. This side is going to face the outside of the cover. The book is going to look like this. And this is going to be the inside. So I'm going to Place some felt on the cover. You can use any felt. I'm using this felt from an um, I purchased a long time ago when I do a lot of sewing project. Like um, I used to sew a lot of purses. So I have a lot of felt left over. You place the felt to cover the front and the back. Don't have it to don't have to be very thick because um you don't want it to be too bulky. I learned this skill from my mother. She used to make her own um comforter using felt, cotton felt. Make sure everything is, the entire surface is 
is covered with the felt. To place the felt in place, I'm going to apply a little bit of glue. I'm going to just use regular stick, glue stick. The purpose is hold this felt in place so it won't move around. And after the whole surface is covered, I need to trim off the excess felt from the edges. Because you don't want the bulky edges. It's very, later on, I'm going to sew the cover on, stitch the cover on the cardstock. So this is the base of the cover. So this is the cover um, I made for this uh, journal. Now I'm going to place the cover to the uh, cardboard. I already marked the center and uh, I want to make sure to line up to the center of this uh, spine. Center line up here and here. And then the next thing is to glue all edges to the cardboard. To do this, I'm going to use the same glue, Beacon 3 in 1. I'm going to apply the glue to one side of the edge at a time. Start from the center. This in here is a little tricky because the lace is pretty thick. So I'm going to apply more glue on this particular area. takes a couple minutes to stick together 
so before it dries a little bit, I have to keep pressing it down so it won't move around. It's good to always have a piece of uh, parchment paper around. You don't know when you need it. Okay, I think it's all stick together now. Let's put more glue over here. I'm going to use this clamp to hold it down because this part is the thickest part of this journal cover. Opposite side. I'm going to trim this edge off to reduce the bulkness because later on I need to sew it. You don't want to stitch through too many layers of fabric. Mm -hmm. And please pay attention when you do this. Do not pull the fabric, just press it down. You can apply to the glue to the paper, to the cardstock also, as well as the fabric. there are layers of fabric um, the best is for me to cut some of the fabric off to reduce the bulkness and uh, easy to apply glue on press it down the fabric over
before I put a clamp to hold it down, I'm going to make sure I applied enough glue on it. Okay, so now I'm going to work on those short edges. Okay, let's turn over, take a look at it. I like it. So I'm going to just wait a little bit, let it dry. While I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I can actually start it working on the center piece. This is the center piece I made earlier. And I do have a, a video showing how I made this um, center piece. I basically crocheted the trim. So I'm going to um, place this in the center. I'm going to apply some glue. 
glue it down first and then I'm going to sew it onto the cover. I'm gonna use this book to press it down, hold it down, let it dry for a little bit. Okay, let's move the book. Remove the book and take a look at what we have done. I will just leave these clamps on there a little longer now I'm going to work on this center piece I'm going to thread some pearls around around through this holes to make sure the center piece is secured attached to the cover These are the pearls I'm going to use to um, sew in this centerpiece. So now I'm finishing up the last piece of B. Since there is only one space, I'm going to just put one bead in this hole. I think it looks perfect. Now I'm going to go to the back side and secure the thread. Now I'm going to add glue around the thread holes to secure the thread, make sure it won't break. And also secure both ends of the thread.
I left it this glue lid open so it kind of dried a little bit in the opening. Okay, this is going to take a while for the glue to dry. I'll come back when the glue dries. Well, I'm waiting for the glue to dry. I'm going to work on the spine of the spine head of the uh, notebook. Now it's all glued together. Very on tightly this is the first signature you can see it's all glued together second signature and it's very easy to open and close as well now what I'm going to do is to add um, heads, spine head to both ends of the notebook. So I'm going to use this cotton um, band or something. I'm not sure what you call this, but I'm going to use this. Just fold it like this about one inches one inch long and then cut it off and make two piece two pieces of this one for the top one for the bottom and then I'm gonna use glue to glue it on Apply the glue to in between two layers. Press firmly and sit aside, let it dry. I'm going to just clamp it, make sure it's closed. Glue together very tightly. Let them dry for a couple of minutes. In the meantime, let's take a look at our little finished uh, signatures. So after all this is done, I'm going to make some pockets on the inside pages. Earlier on, I said I am going to add these two uh, whole sheets, one for the front, 
one for the back so this is what i'm gonna do i'm going to add this over here so i can glue this two sh this size together like this before i do that i need to corner round the corners You can leave this uh, one side open, make it a pocket, but uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just uh, glue this entire sheets together. And on this side, I'm going to make a pocket. Again, I'm going to use the same glue. Make sure to line it up. Because I have excess glue, so I need to protect the pages using this uh, parchment paper. And gently press it down. So now these two pages are glued together. I'll, I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit and then I will trim the excess over here. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the back page. Again, I'm going to use this parchment paper to, for protection. Line the up, line it up. I should glue this closer to the spine. Now oh, this looks better.
so I'm gonna close it up like this to wait for these pages to dry. I'm going to apply this, put the book on top of this journal to press it down, add some pressure. Give it a few minutes. Let's check the glue, see if it's dry. There is a little, it's a still a little tacky, but it's almost dried. Let's check this part. Looks very good. This book is not very thick. If you want to make a thicker journal, you can just simply add more signatures. Next thing I'm going to do is to stitch around the entire cover, like this, all the way around. To make the stitch on uh, straight, I mark it with the mark the edge mark the edges with the where I need to sew to stitch with a pencil. That way, I make sure the stitches are very straight. Leave a quarter inch away from the edge and draw a line with pencil. It's not obvious because I really don't, we don't need it to be obvious. As long as I can see when it, I'm sewing. Oh, this is not too dry, so I'm going to put this piece of paper down for protection. And do the same thing around this journal, around the edges. Okay, um, I can see the pencil marks, but I don't know if you can see from the camera. But that's okay, as long as it's, um, I can see it. And also, two seams over here. It's one, uh, it's a quarter inch away from the seam. So now I'm going to go to my sewing machine to stitch these 
edges. Now let's check the glue. Feels dry already. And these two headbands, it's also dried pretty well. So I'm going to glue these two headbands on the spine. Make sure I apply glue all the way. Just leave a quarter inch away from the top and apply glue to the rest of it. Press it down firmly because I can't use clamps to um, hold it in place. So I'm going to use my hands, press it down until it attached to the spine. This will create a fake um, headband. Make your journal look more professional. Make sure to apply plenty of glue. Need to hold them down for a little bit. Okay, I think it's good enough. Now let's take a look at the cover I just stitched. Put the stitches around the entire journal, entire cover. And uh, actually this is a um, double secure, double security. Now I'm waiting for this uh, head, these headbands to dry before I glue it down. But uh, what I can do is to add lace around the cover, make it look more romantic and the cottage. I pre-made this lace and uh, I'm going to glue the lace down all the way around the cover edge. So just um, pull it, it gives the natural 
Um, I don't know how to say this in English, but um, I know you understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to tie this end so it won't come loose. So I'm going to start from the bottom center. Let me check the spine head. It looks pretty secured. When the glue dries, it will be very tight, tightly glued on. To glue the lace, I am going to use this glue. This is art glitter dries clear glue. I'm going to start from the bottom center, apply this glue all the way around. It's going to be messy on my fingers because I can't use other things to hold, hold the uh, lace down. Maybe I can cut a small piece of this parchment paper. To help me to press down. So I won't get the glue all over my fingers. Just carefully apply the lace around the edges. So now I'm working toward the end of the entire lace. I want to show you how I'm going to end this. Double check, make sure it's all evenly lined up. So toward the end, I'm going to cut off the lace. And then, just like we start, apply glue to here to secure the end of the lace. This is how it looks from the front. 
we can always make some adjustment and check everywhere make sure lace are applied lace is applied evenly around the entire cover If it's not even, you can always pull it and then re-glue it. Press it down one more time. Let's take a look at the result from the front. I really like the result. I hope you, you do too. Okay, the next step is to glue the inside cover to the outside cover. Remember, this is the spine. I think I'm going to round the corners as well. Just make it look 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 pretty. Before I apply this cover paper on, I need to um, attach my closure. So the closure I'm going to use is um, lace as well. So for the closure, I'm going to use this lace. I'm going to cut the lace the length of the lace um, enough to go around the entire um, inside of the journal to make sure it's secure. So this is about four, four feet long. Because it goes around, so I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Then I'm going to find the center. 
find the center of this uh, cover. This is approximately nine inches, so the center is four and a half. So I'm gonna glue the lace all the way around in the along the center line, which I'm going to make a mark using my pencil. Four and a half right here and here. I can use either glue, either this beacon 3-in-1 or um, this art glitter dries clear, doesn't matter. Then I'm going to find the center of the lace and start gluing it on from the center. Make sure it's centered. Wait a couple minutes and let it dry. <clears throat> Add some pressure. So now the um, next step is to glue this uh, inside cover car stock front both front and back I'm not going to make a lace pocket for this journal I'm going to just use paper to make a journal uh, uh, pocket I mean pocket excuse me uh, later on because the thickness I think I should make the spine a little bit wider. So now I don't think I can add anything more on it. So I'm going to apply glue. On both the cardstock
Make sure apply plenty of glue, especially on the edges. Make sure line up. This um, the inside edge line up um, with the gap between the spine and the front cover. Then firmly press it down. And again, I'm gonna use this. Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna use this um, parchment paper protect the car stock so sometimes you have excess glue come out of the edges will uh, that will stain the cardboard Looks pretty good. Give it a good press. And now I can attach the front of the journal to the front cardboard. To do this, I'm going to apply glue along these cardboard edges. Make sure line up both pages. I'm going to use this parchment paper to protect the, pa the paper. And apply pressure firmly. For a good couple of minutes. I like about this glue is because it's it dries really fast. Okay, and then we're going to repeat the same process, apply the back cover. Let me put this book on here. Keep the pressure for a little bit. Now I'm going to, in the meantime, I'm going to work on the back cover. I'm going to apply glue to this cardboard.
line up the edges and also the the gap of the spine do not go over this line Give it a good press and uh, the glue will dry in a couple of minutes. Not a completely 100% dry, but uh, dry enough to um, work on, continuously work on the project. Next step is to glue these two sheets together. Make sure apply enough glue to along the edges. Is close to the camera. Let's do it this way. Glue these two sheets together. Make sure to line them up. for now because this the glue is not dried enough to work to work on it yet I can turn it this way and put pressure on it. going to use this book again to add pressure. Okay, let's take a look. It 
This is the front. I think it looks very nice. I just need to trim this uh, white part, white gap here. I think I forgot to put a layer of this parchment paper over here, but uh, luckily the excess glue did not doesn't I don't I didn't have a lot of excess glue, so it all glued together very nicely. Here, there's a little bit need to dry some more time. I'll give it a little more time to dry, but uh, it's pretty much majority of the binding, book binding is done. I'm going to fold it this way and uh, place parchment paper in between the pages and give it some more time to dry and add more pressure. I think I'm going to let it dry this way overnight to ensure it's completely dried and bind up together really nicely. So I'm going to use a couple of heavy duty books. This book is really big and heavy. And I'm gonna let it dry overnight and tomorrow um, we're going to start decorating the inside of the journal on pages. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.